guys welcome back okay so today I decided you know I wanted to go ahead try once again to do a fall look <laughs> and the palette that I decided to play with today is one of my Mayali beauty palettes this is their new Yasmin palette one of the palettes that I did choose you know when I was kind of like picking out my palettes for fall and stuff like that this was one of the palettes that i chose so i said you know let me go ahead and try this out today and see what's happening but this is from mayali beauty i can't tell you the exact price of it because i don't know the conversion rate i bought three palettes and the three palettes all cost 28 gbp and with my taxes shipping all that stuff i paid 114 dollars for my three palettes so you can split that up, okay? But yeah, this is the palette, the Yasmin. This is what she looks like. So of course, when I pulled this palette, you can see it has the beautiful burgundies, purples, red tones, some of the grungy green, beautiful, beautiful shimmers, this super beautiful purple matte in here. So it was like, this is perfect for fall, okay? Let's do it, let's get into it, okay? I don't know what this eye look says fall. <laughs> y'all i'm trying okay i'm trying y'all let me know but i use this palette to create this look okay and i really really like it i really do i like what this palette did now i only have i really like this palette so i'll just point out the two things that i would say are slightly negative about the palette this yellow right here absolutely gorgeous color gorgeous shade but it took a lot of building up in my inner portion of my eyelid. And as you can see, she's like, I might come to the party. I'm not sure. I might show up, but I'm not going to commit. Okay. <laughs> so that's kind of how I feel about the yellow. It's not super duper bright, but it's actually showing up in a tone that I really like, you know, for the whole fall feel. But yeah, it's going to take some building up, okay? Now, granted, I didn't use a white base. I used my P. Louise 04, like I always do. You guys know. But I feel like that's light enough, okay, for a color to show up on. So, yeah, that was very, very light, very faint. But I do still think it looks pretty in this eye look. You can see a soft hint of it, okay? Um, and then the other thing is the inner corner pop that I use, this shade right here really really pretty shade you'll see when i swatch it it's really pretty but it doesn't give me that mm, that i'm looking for and i believe that's because it's a really beautiful iridescent kind of like purpley um shade or it looks you know it has that purple hint to it you can see it in my inner corner it doesn't have this bright white kind of effect along with the iridescence look it has you know it looks purple to me really pretty but not what I was looking for when I went in for my inner corner pop okay very pretty just not what I was looking for so those are the only two negative things that I have to say about this palette it is really really nicely pigmented the other shadows except for that yellow that I used I used you know some of this, this top row over here the purples and the oranges of course as you can see very nicely pigmented blend out like a dream i love how they blend it together just seamless i really really like it but that's about it okay so let me go ahead jump into some swatches of this palette and then if you want to see how i got this eye look today stay tuned because that'll be right after the swatches <laughs> I did go in and build some of the mats up it's very hard for me to swatch with these long nails I don't know why I decided to put these talons on today <laughs> but yeah it's a little harder for me to swatch with these nails on but I did build some of them up this shade right here looks like it's not even there that's because it's basically like my skin tone so now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the last row that has the four beautiful shimmers right here <laughs> Thank you. 
So those are the four shimmers that are on the bottom row. These are the mattes and then this beautiful, beautiful green shimmer here. Very, very pretty. So first impression on this palette, I like it. I really do. I'm glad that I tried out their whole rebranding, new palettes and whatnot. So I'm really excited to try out the other two that I got as well because they're just as beautiful. I feel like in these palettes, there are, you know, a few different formulas, you know, with the shimmers, there's some beautiful kind of like duochrome, iridescent type shades that are a little bit more chunky. You do have this beautiful gold shade here or greeny gold shade which is nice and smooth very very pretty which is what I have on my lid today on top of a base um, these shades beautifully pigmented I have no complaints about the pigmentation the yellow although it's not that super bright yellow you know that you're looking for with colorful looks I actually like how it looks with this eye look it's kind of that nice soft muted type of yellow so just my first impressions on this palette. I do like it. So, oh, and on my lips. Okay, I just, I can't get over how good my lips feel. I'm trying out this new Pat McGrath Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine. <laughs> and I love it. Oh my goodness, my lips feel so beautifully, nicely quenched. I just love it. I have on my lip liner, my ColourPop and Ellery lip liner. Okay, y'all know I love that. But yeah, I saw my girl Kara from Beauty and the Frizz put on one of these little like lip fetish, lip balm things and I about fell out. It was so gorgeous on her. If you don't know who Kara from Beauty and the Frizz is, make sure you check her out. She is so lighthearted and just, you know, easy breezy, free spirited. She's beautiful, has a wonderful personality. She loves makeup, playing in makeup, trying new things, and just, she just gets in there and goes for it in her videos, and I love that. So, so beautiful, wonderful personality inside and out. So if you're looking for a new channel to watch, check her out. I will link her in my description box as well as in the iCards above. But yeah, I saw Kara put it on and I was like, I gotta have it, okay? <laughs> so yeah, that is what I have on my lips today. If you wanna see how I created this eye look, stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm starting off with my P. Louise base as usual. And I'm just going to use that to prep my lids for this eye look today. So the first shade I'm going into is the shade Trunk. And it's kind of like a, I don't know, a fuchsia type red it looks like. Well, at least when I'm placing it on my eye, that's what it's coming off as. As you can see, it is nicely pigmented. And I didn't really have any issues blending it out. I used a large fluffy brush just to kind of blow that out in my crease. So next I'm going into this beautiful orange tone shade, which is Cardinal. And I'm taking another fluffy brush and just using that to blend out the edge of that first shade. As you can see, those two shades are blending together very, very nicely. I really like how those colors blend it together. Very, very pretty. Now the next shade I decided to go into was this yellow shade right in the center. I believe it's called Zatune. Now, this shade did not wanna show up. <laughs> As you can see, I'm dipping into the palette several times and just kind of building that shade up and like, where is it, okay? But I just took my time and built it up as much as I could. You can see it a little bit there, but it's not super bright. So next I decided to go into No Sheen, which is a darker plum shade. And I wanted to use that to kind of deepen up that crease a little bit. And as you can see, when I deepen that crease more, that yellow kind of shows up a little bit brighter because it's next to that darker shade. So now for my lid, I wanted to go in with one of my chunky eyeshadow pencils. So I chose the green shade, but funny enough, when I started placing it down on top of that kind of purple that was on my lid, it turned into like a darker purple. <laughs> Very strange, but yeah, that's what it did. But I didn't care because I just wanted a base for this green shimmer. So I'm going into, it looks like Adila. Beautiful, beautiful green shimmer shade. As you can see, 
it is absolutely gorgeous so I'm just placing that down on top of that base but I can tell even without the base down it is still a beautiful beautiful green shade so gorgeous now I'm going back in with some of that dark plum shade and just tapping out the edge so that I can blend that together and just create a nice seamless look for this um, you know design that I'm creating here so now I'm going in with some of my black liquid eyeliner it looks like this is the wet and wild that I'm using and I decided to go on top of that with a little bit of purple just to add a little bit more dimension to this look so I'm going in with one of my NYX liquid liners purple to add that touch so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my complexion off camera come back and we can go ahead and move on to this lower lash line so for the lower lash line, I'm starting off with one of my LA Girl Shockwave liners. This is the green one, one of my favorites. I love this green liner. And to smoke out, I'm going back in with that deep dark burgundy shade, just using a small fluffy brush to blow it out. And I'm also going back into that orange shade cardinal and placing that right below that burgundy shade just to make it match my lid. So for my inner corner pop, I tried out the shade Munaza. Like I told you guys before, it did not pop like I thought it would. Very, very beautiful shade, but the more that I kind of placed it down and blended it in, the more that that purple iridescence just kind of popped out. So <laughs> yeah, it's really more of like a purple shade. So I'm going in with some of my pure fully charged mascara today. I wasn't really in the mood for falsies. So yeah, I'm just kind of going ham with this mascara. And for my lips, trying out one of my Pat McGrath lip shines. And I'm going in with my ColourPop and Ellery lip liner first though, just to kind of line my lips. I wanted a nice deep burgundy lip liner with this lip shine. And you guys, <laughs> these lip shines, oh my goodness, so bomb. I cannot say it enough. They are so juicy, so beautifully glossy and shiny and comfortable. I love them. So I'm going to set my face today with my Ciate London Everyday Vacay Spray. And you guys know I'm forever drenching my face. But this is the look today, you guys. So hopefully you like the look that I created. Like I said in the beginning, my first impressions for this palette, I actually really like it. I wish the yellow was a little bit more pigmented and I wish that that inner corner pop shade that I used was a little bit brighter. But aside from that, I really, really enjoy creating this eye look today. So thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to hit that like and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!